Hi guys, my name is Che and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I will tell you how you can implement Firebase login in your iOS application. Okay, let's start without wasting any time. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more latest video update. I divide this video in four module. In module one, we will create the UI part that we needed for this video. Okay, and in module two, we create a project on Firebase and set up the Firebase in our app. And in module three, we will implement the Firebase SDK in your project. And in module four, we finally implement the Firebase code in our project. So let's check the code. What I have done here is only two screen. One is for login and another is for sign up. and uh, now go for our second module that is create a project in firebase and set a firebase in our project so stop that project and uh, copy the bundle identifier that and uh, because we need it in future for make a project on firebase uh, chrome go to firebase If you are not logging, then please log in first and then go to Firebase console here, create a new project, enter your project name. I'm entering Firebase login demo. Okay, now press continue. For this video, there is no need for Google Analytics, so I'm I am turning off it and uh, create a project yeah project is created now press continue and select the ios and fill up your app details like bundle id that i already copied so i'm pasting it here now press register app now download this file that is needed for communication between Firebase and in our app, so download it and, and open your project and add this file by simply dragging and dropping. And please make sure the copy item, if needed, is checked. And press finish. Now you see uh, the file is added, but it's showing a different name. So we remove the extra character from here okay now file is added now press next here our second module is complete we created a project on firebase and uh, set up the firebase in our project this part is done now go for our third part that is installing the firebase stk in our project for that close your current project window open terminal and go to your project directory Going my project by simply cd and drag and drop the project here. Now it's automatically take the path and press enter. Now uh, run a simple command pod in it that is uh, used for making a pod file where our old third party SDK is name is there. So I'm done the command pod in it. Yeah. It's actually now a new file is up here. Now open that file, and here we have to put our SDK name. So go back to Google Chrome and now search for Firebase authentication in Swift. Here you see, yeah, that is our port file that we needed. For Firebase authentication, copy that. Go back to port file and paste it. Name is here. Okay, now save it and close that. And again, go back to terminal and run the command code install that is used for installing any third party SDK in our project. By running this command, you see. Uh, Is some new files is appear now 
for continue you have to open the xc workspace file that have our code and our stk code as well now build the project for checking everything is working smoothly yeah it's building successfully if you getting any error then please comment it below on um, if you if your project is built successfully then please like my video and here our third module is completed where we implement the sdk of firebase in our project now go for our fourth module that is implement the firebase authentication code in our project for that first go to app delegate and import here our firebase file import firebase now in your did finish launching with option then this line of code that is uh, used to configure your app with firebase okay now run the project and check yeah project is running successfully is no problem okay now for implementing code first of go to directory to sign up controller and for adding firebase code authentication code first you have to import firebase file firebase now in the registration button press down this code or that is event dot out to create user with email and password that we needed yeah, that's correct okay for email uh, for this video i'm assuming that email text will have the text pass password and in code my result error now check if error not equal to nil then print error dot localized description else print user successfully now run the project and check check go to sign up controller j at the rate gmail dot com password just entering four five six seven eight that is very strong password now clear the console and and press register what there is an error okay the okay ah, i forget one thing sorry go to firebase console select your project in your project in the in develop section go for authentication here in go go to sign in method tab and email and password click on that and enable it and press save okay now it's enabled now go back to our export and run the project again yeah in and enter j at the rate gmail dot com tab and password section enter one two three four five six seven eight and can use the control simulator and press register yeah you just register successfully yeah we got the success okay now for checking the database go to firebase console 
and in authentication section go for user you see one user is appeared that i recently registered chairdgmail.com okay now go for login for login go to login we see and import firebase now in the login action login button action add sign in method any uh, for that or authentication dot sign in with email and password yeah that we needed email and password so email i'm assuming email text will have the text text password text dot text in completion yes. result error now check again if error not equal to nil then print error localized description else when user login now run the project and check now in login section enter our mail id that we log in recently at the date gmail dot com and enter password in password section add one two three four five six seven eight now please the console and then and press the login button yeah user login successfully i think i double tap on that so that's why it's saying two times yeah. here our video is finished if you like my video then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos